Welcome back to our Neo 2 100% walkthrough. In this episode, we'll be doing the main mission called Bird in a Cage. We've got seven Kadama to collect. We've got one hot spring location to get, and we also have a mission based achievement. My name is Azavar or Azza. Now let's get into the video. So we can pop a cheeky level up. So let's do that first of all. We're going to be focusing on magic for now. Uh, so we'll pop that into magic. We've got skill 14, dexterity 38, and magic is 18. So that is that. Uh, we'll head on up here and grab this item. This is uh, Fragrant Wood times 2. Uh, what the Fragrant Wood will do is take away a debuff. On this stage we can get a debuff called Toxic. Uh, so we'll watch out for that Toxic debuff a little bit later. A couple of enemies here, one just there and one behind the barrels. Watch out for this one behind the barrels as well. Let's give it the old one too. There we go, that's that. Push on forward. And then we can go left or right here. You want to be going right. If you go left uh, over there, you'll be spotted by a guy in a watchtower. Uh, you'll blow a horn. Loads of enemies will come and find you. And missiles will be shot down upon you. And it's just a general bad time. So you don't want to go that way. You want to go right down this cave. Watch out for these spiders. Give them the old one too. Uh, another spider there. Give this guy the old one too. Uh, they'll do a lot of jump backs as well like that. So just watch out for those jump backs. Uh, the small eggs may sometimes hatch smaller spiders. Watch out for those. You can preemptively sort of attack. And, uh, and take them out. Watch out for standing on those eggs and breaking them and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll head up here. We've got an enemy here. Just pop him in the face. A couple of enemies that we can pop in the face here. Uh, one down there. One over there. Uh, we'll get the watchtower guy a little bit later. So this guy will run uh, over here now that we've sort of shot him once. He'll head on over. You might be able to get him again with another headshot, but it's a bit tricky to, to get. But luckily we got it that time, but it doesn't always work that way. Uh, enemy over there, you can pop him in the head. I chose a normal arrow there. There is an enemy down below. We can get a drop uh, if he is placed below us. Uh, I think we'll wait until he's over here. He's taking his sweet time now. There we go. Uh, so that is that. You can get the drop on that guy. There is a Kadama here, so very important. Make sure to get the Kadama. Head on back around. There is an enemy inside this building here, but I don't think there's anything in the building, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, some salt there. Uh, enemy inside this building here as well. You can pop him in the head. There we go. Grab all the loot. And just behind the building, there is a Sudama. Uh, you can drop. Uh, what we'll do, I mentioned it in one of the previous videos, but you can drop a, a soul core. Uh, like so, you'll pick up the soul core. Uh, sometimes give us a Kadama soul core in exchange. We didn't get one that time, but we got some decent stuff. But if he does give you a Kadama soul core, you can take that to a shrine and purify it at the shrine. And uh, if you do do that, it will give you an achievement if it's the first time that you've done that. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, we can push on forward. That's relatively clear. Uh, there is the missile shooting enemy, so just watch out for this guy up here. i have got a doggo waiting for us, so you can just pop him with a couple of shurikens. This is the one that shoots the, the missiles at us. Let's give him a couple of feathers. Uh, so you can shoot this, the missile thing. Uh, blow up that watchtower, so if you do die, and you have to run back through here, the watchtower is now destroyed, so you don't have to worry about that uh, guard anymore. That is that. Uh, we can get a shortcut. Let's go look at that. So you head inside this cave. And this is the uh, the toxic enemy. Puts that toxic on us. Uh, so what this enemy can do is actually fart in our faces. Which is obviously not ideal. Let's see if he'll do it today. Just throw in a dung ball. 
I don't think he's actually doing the uh, the fart move that I mentioned, but maybe he'll do it. I'm not sure. Uh, they can pack a punch, so be careful of these guys. They can really uh, hit quite hard. You can burst counter that. The dung ball, watch out for that. Uh, I'm not sure he's going to do the actual move I was looking for, but that's fine. You get the idea. That will give you toxic there. Obviously, that's a, a breath move uh, rather than a fart move, but... Uh, you get the idea, so we'll just... Uh, Take him out. Here we go. Uh, so they sometimes drop dung balls. So they're the dung balls that they throw at us. Uh, there is a Kadama behind these barrels. So grab this Kadama. And that's what the fragrant wood will take away, that toxic. So if, if you look on my, uh, just underneath the magic bar, uh, you'll see we've got the, uh, the red one that's pointing downwards, that's the toxic debuff. And we've got the blue one that's pointing upwards, that's the uh, magic talisman buff. So blue, uh, so pointing up is good and pointing down is, is bad. Uh, so that's that. You can get the toxic by standing in this sewage as well. Uh, so we'll head on back, you can open these double doors. That will get a shortcut back to the original shrine, which is down that way. Uh, so over here we've got a spider waiting for us, just pop this spider in the face, even though that guy was on it today, he was... He saw the bullet coming. He could say that his spidey sense was tingling. Uh, so get that stuff, we'll head back. There is a, a shortcut there where there's ladders are, but we'll get that a little bit later. Uh, you could technically rest and restore your stuff, but uh, we're looking good so it should be fine. We head forward. Uh, there is a dog out, so we we'll lock on. Shuriken. Usually three should do. Then we get the item on this roof. There we go. Head back. Uh, this enemy will kick a barrel down, so watch out for this barrel. Just going to high stance this guy. High stance spam. Critical strike. And there is a Kadama in these bushes. Oh, that Kadama. And uh, then we can push on forward. Some enemies that you can take out ranged here. Going to switch to the bow. Standard arrows. Don't go too far forward because this watchtower guy will see you. So ideally what you want to do is take these out. Uh, first, before the watchtower guy sees you, but that should do. And then mid stance should take him out. Sure, I can. Uh, so that is that. Watch out for missile. Missiles will be kind of like shooting down towards you like that. So watch out for the missiles. They do a massive amount of damage. So what we'll do to avoid those is go down into this cave. Uh, down here. This cave can be spicy. Watch out for some stuff in here. You got a, a spider up there. That one didn't have the reaction speeds of the previous one that we shot. I'm going to take these small uh, spiders out on purpose because uh, they can be a pain if they decide to join a fight a little bit later when you're fighting something else. Spider on the wall there. I'm gonna kunai that one. Uh, I am gonna lure this one down here on purpose. And take him out. Uh, some feathers should do quite a good job against this one as well. Just a wombo combo of uh, feathers there. Watch out for these eggs. I got some more spiders in there again. Give them the old one too. That's all that. A couple of enemies here. You can pop some feathers once again. Uh, 
And then I'll finish off with kunai. Uh, there is an enemy just tucked away in the corner here. Spider, so watch out for that. There we go. Let's get all that loot. We've got some fragrant wood once again. It might be worth setting the fragrant wood to a shortcut if you want to. If you want to, if you get that uh, toxic debuff, you can use the wood to take it away. And then we'll grab this item here, Sacred Brush. And on up, apply a talisman. Uh, I'm going to use a Sloth talisman on this one, so lock on Sloth. Hopefully it hits. Yes, yeah, so it slowed him down quite a lot. Give some feathers. There we go. Uh, so sloth talisman is very very useful. Uh, I've got a herbal remedy there, travel amulet, and on my omega locks. Up on down. Uh, so yeah, the sloth talisman will slow them down like a insane amount. There's an enemy just around this corner, so watch out for this. Gonna go for the feathers for that one. Uh, yeah, so watch out for that enemy. We'll try to do like a surprise attack. Uh, just at the top of these ladders, we have a Kadama. Let's yeah, so make sure to grab that Kadama. Head on forward. We can headshot this guy. Uh, sneak. So just like walk. Uh, tilt the stick very lightly to walk. And then just high stance spam. There we go. And enemy in this watchtower. We'll just jump on up, take him out, drop back down. Uh, and then we shall, you can kick this, it will kill an enemy. Just over there. There we go. Just going to grab the loot from around the back. Head over here. There's an enemy that's waiting for us in the grass there, so watch out for that one. Let's move up. Uh, this guy will pack a punch, so be uh, careful of this one. I was just basically dodging back there to avoid his attacks. Uh, we'll go for some feathers on this one. Uh, this guy can pack a punch, so just be careful. I'm trying to like get around the back of him, uh, get around the side of him, then attack uh, when it's safe, after he's done a few attacks of his own. Uh, you can once again destroy the watchtower. There we go. And uh, what we'll do next is rest at a shrine first of all. So there's a little bit more to do in this area. In fact, we'll get that item first. There we go. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit more to do in that area, but probably best to rest first, so... Uh, we'll just rest at this shrine. We can level up, so pop a cheeky level, pop that into magic. There we go. Uh, we might be able to red ready some more sloth. Yep, so we can now ready three sloth. Let's do that. Uh, enemies will respawn uh, because we rested at the shrine. So if you can do, pop these enemies once again. One there, one there, one up there. And one should be patrolling. There we go. That is that. So what we'll do is, there is an enemy in there as well. I don't think there's really anything in there, but it might be safer just to pop him in the head. Just stand behind that fire and then pop him in the head. Another one here, we can pop him in the head. Switch to shurikens. The dog. There we go. 
Uh, enemies up here, just hang to the left. You got a barrel coming down. Do a barrel roll. There we go. We've got the yokai realm here. Don't go too far into this realm. You want to bring this guy towards the door. Uh, there's a few more yokai up there, so it's usually best to try and kill him uh, down this way. We've got one there. I'm not going to waste my rifle or ammo. Put purification on with the arrows. That'll do. And then we can try the sloth talisman again here. So we'll put on purification, magic, and then we'll get sloth. Uh, activate the enemy, back up, sloth. In fact, I'll wait for him to do that. I'll sloth now. Now purification. Back up. I think we got it on. Oh, not quite. So I'll apply another pure, um, sl uh, sloth. Underground is not making our life easy today. There we go. We. We got it eventually. Uh, but yeah, the idea is there is to sloth and then purification talisman uh, combo to get purification on. And then just use feathers. You can also just use purification arrows as well. That's an option. Uh, instead of doing the purification combo. That choice is yours. There is a treasure chest there. That's all that's up there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, so that is that area. And we can push towards the castle a little bit. Uh, so we can rest. Pop a few skill points in. With the ninjutsu stuff, we're going to be aiming for poison stuff. Uh, not for this particular stage, but we'll be using it on a boss uh, later in the game. So what we'll do is this one here, which is the poison uh, buff on your weapon. We'll get that one. Uh, this one here, which is snake bite technique. Increases recurrent damage by 10%. We're going to get that one there. Um, shuriken damage. Make sure you've got uh, poison shuriken there as well. That one. Uh, and then shuriken damage up. That'll do for now. Uh, Kasurigami, we're going to go down this way for this one called Relentless. And then we're going to work towards the other one here called Relentless 2. Just getting those nodes basically there so we can get access to that one. That's pretty much all I'm doing that for. Uh, Shifling, we're going to go for this one here. Which is uh, reduces the depletion of yokai shift gauge when dodging in yokai form and we do quite a lot of dodging with the uh, phantom form so that's quite useful and uh, then we'll go for this one that'll do samurai we'll go for matchlock master and that'll do for now might be able to get some title points we'll go for anima charge uh, ninjutsu power key life key that'll do Uh, yep, yeah. then we're going to go into this dark realm here. This bit can be a bit spicy. You've got missiles coming down at you. You've got all sorts of stuff that's attacking you at the same time. So what we're going to try and do is lure the enemy into a cave and fight in the cave. Run past. Into the cave. Might have two enemies follow you. You might have one enemy. That one will disappear. Take him out. So watch out for the missiles, you might see them. We'll take that guy out first. Here we go. Uh, missiles come from that way. Watch out for those. So we've got... Um, this is the enemy we want to take out. I'm going to try and use some feathers. Uh, water is quite good against this one if the water does actually hit. There we go, that clears the dark realm. 
I just got to watch out for the missiles. So what we'll do for this one is uh, pop on purification here, run, hang to the left, avoid the barrel. Uh, high stunts this guy at the top. Critical strike. It's been a bit spicy today, so Go for the kunai. High stunts this one. There we go. And we can light these. Destroy the tower. There we go. Uh, so the intended route is just underneath that bridge, but we've got some bits and bobs to do first, so uh, we'll just grab all the stuff first. Rifle for this guy. Pop him in the face. I've got quite a lot of health left, actually, so that's... Usually does a bit more damage than that. Just high stance this guy. There we go. Uh, treasure chest inside. So we'll grab that. Uh, this area is kind of clear. And then we should go and check out the cave next before going into the castle. So let's go do that. We'll head on in the cave. I think there is a scampus. Let's grab the scampus. I stance this guy. So we'll head on inside the cave at this point. go grab the item uh quite a few enemies in here there's all sorts of stuff popping off in this in this cave uh, this is where all the sewage is got a cannon enemy shout out for that one uh these enemies here you can potentially use your feathers and uh kunai and stuff too Finish them off. Might go for sloth on that one. So yeah, just be careful of these ones. They can be pretty spicy. We'll throw the dung balls at you and stuff like that, so... Uh, so that is that. We'll grab the item down here near near the sewage. There we go. And uh, I think there's a fake wall somewhere in this area. Got an elemental there, just give him the old feather tickle. The fake wall over here. In the sewage. I'm going to try the blue one. Uh-oh. Doesn't like that one. Uh, yellow? This could go badly. Oh, no, that actually quite lucky, so works out quite well. Uh, so that's the fake wall. Just be careful not to fall through the uh, hole here. Uh, you don't want to fall through there just yet. Um, we get the item. A shinobi box. And I think we've got some ninja locks in that treasure chest, which is always good. Uh, the reason that you don't want to fall down that gap is... Because if you go up here, you need to kick these ladders down first. There we go. That's the shortcut that I mentioned earlier, uh, where that enemy is. And uh, this is where the mission-based achievement is. First of all, let's just take out this spider. Just up there. There we go. Uh, so some information on the mission-based achievement. This is where it all happens. This is the NPC here. Uh, it's quite funny actually because this guy um, asks for. He says that he's uh, he's hungry. I know you're my enemy. He's asking for something to eat. So what you offer him is elixir first of all. Oh, that's very he says that's very generous, but it's not what it's not what he wants. So then you offer him some dung balls. And uh, yeah, so you give him some dung balls. 
There we go. And uh, essentially the achievement works like this. You have to give him 30 dung balls um, to get the achievement here. And I believe you can get standard dung balls and you can also get noble dung balls. I think the standard dung balls uh, equals one point and the noble dung balls equal two points. Uh, so essentially you're trying to get 30 in total, 30 points, 30 dung ball points uh, to this guy. Um, but what I would recommend is actually completing the game first, um, finishing off the game and then coming back to this stage. Because by the time that you finish the game, uh, you've most likely got 30 dung balls already. Um, so it's a lot easier just to play through the game and then just come back and then just give the 30 dung balls straight off the bat for the achievement. Uh, but you can farm them if you want to get them right now you do have the option so what you can do i'll show you uh, what you can do if you want to farm them is first of all make sure to kick these ladders down they fall down this will lead to the original shrine uh, we are going to rest at this shrine as well because we need to replenish our stuff so it's a good time to go and check that out uh, we can also level up so we might as well Pop one of those. Uh, maybe have some items that we can use to level up some more. Uh, not quite, but that's fine. So basically what I would do for farming is rest at this shrine. Uh, running straight up here. Straight through the double doors. And farming this enemy here. So this is the one that drops the dung balls and the, and the noble dung balls. So just kill that guy. And then just run back down to the shrine, reset, run back up, and then just keep farming uh, this enemy over and over again. Uh, I actually don't want to use my feathers and stuff just yet, so I'm just going to head on up. Then you go up the ladders when you've got loads of dung balls. And then just go around the corner. And uh, here's the NPC. That's an option. Uh, if you do have, you can get magic talismans that increase drop rates as well. So if you've got any of those, you can pop them on. So like increase drop rates and try and get more dung balls whilst you're farming. That's a, a good way to uh, do that. Watch out for this enemy up here. Uh, I think there's an enemy in the sewage as well. You can potentially get a headshot if you can get the red, um, the red bit, but I don't exactly know where that is. Uh, we'll just shoot, I think. Oh, there we go. We actually got it in the end. But yeah, that's that's uh, that's where you would farm and stuff. Uh, once again, just make sure to get that fake wall that was just uh, just over there in the sewage. Uh, other than that, we're topped up on on ninjutsu stuff, so we can push forward into the castle. Uh, ladders there that take you up to the the top bit. We go talisman, talisman. And we'll try and get sloth on. Back up, sloth. I think it got him. Yeah, it did. You can see the uh, icon next to his health. Get the purification on. Back up. Just rolling, rolling. I'm gonna finish him off with some feathers. There we go. And now we can get into the castle. This castle is a bit spicy. All sorts of stuff popping off in here. Uh, enemy over there, you can just shimmy to your left. Strafe to your left, pop him in the head. Enemy over here. I think we'll go for feathers to... Uh, Finish him off. There we go. Uh, we're going to bring this guy over. Watch out for the spider that's on the roof, just above this yokai. See it up there, so just be careful. Like that. Gonna go for some shuriken. And uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of different ways you can go here. It can get a bit confusing because there's loads of sort of like stairs, doors. Uh, all that sort of stuff. So there are some stairs here, but we're just going to like do all the stuff in the basement first, and then we'll head up. 
uh, elemental, so you can just feathers that bad boy. Grab all the stuff. Uh, try not to have toxic applied to you at this point. If you do have it, definitely use fragrant wood or just wait for the toxic to uh, go away. There we go. And we've got one of those uh, toxic enemies. We'll try and go for a slow talisman. I'm not sure whether it's going to hit. out. Uh, slow Talisman quite good against those because they are pretty fast. Yeah, so obviously slowing them down will, is very useful. Uh, we've got some ladders there. We're just going to ignore those ladders for now. Head on over here, get this uh, treasure box, treasure chest. Uh, ignore that item for now. That's uh, We have to drop down and get that later. Uh, smash through these barrels. Kadama hiding behind, so make sure to grab the Kadama. Uh, and then we'll go... I think we'll go... Towards this way. Uh, right at the start of the basement first. There's different ways that you can go. I'm trying to get to the to the shrine first of all. I think getting to the shrine first will probably be the easiest way to... Approach it. But we do have to take out some human enemies... Uh, first, so... There's quite a few human... Human enemies here, so watch out. When you aggro this one, another one will come up, come over to us. So if, if you've got rifle, ideally go for rifle. Be careful, those guys can hurt. So that, we've got another en another human enemy that's waiting for us as well, so... Grab this treasure chest. Smash those. Let's see if we can get any more. Uh, arrows, perhaps, or ammunition. Uh, there is an enemy behind here. Not sure if it will lock on through the wall, but will. Well, it gives us the red thing, so let's just try and get the headshot, ideally, if we can do. Not quite, but there we go. Uh, yeah, if you, if you can get the headshot first, first of all, then definitely go for it. Just be careful of that enemy, because he packs a punch. We've got one more just... Hiding over here. This one also packs a punch. Try and get the headshot if you can do. Uh, definitely go for Sloth Talisman on those if you do have them. That will help quite a lot. I think this is the easiest way to the shrine. So if we go to this sort of like uh, rounded room. All the way round. Then we can get to the shrine. So I'm going to rest at that for safety. Although there's human enemies will now respawn. So just keep that in mind. Another point in magic. Maybe we can ready up some more sloth. Or that'll do. Okay, so we've got this whole castle to explore now, which is a bit of a spicy meatball. Uh, so what we'll do, I think we'll take out some of those human enemies again if we can do just for, for safety strats here. Uh, I think we just got spotted by something, but I'm not quite sure what it was actually. Well, And get him the headshot once again. That was a spider. Not sure where that came from, to be honest. But there we go. Right, we got some. Uh, we got company. Gonna go for some feathers. Mid stance. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to take these out just for safety because there are some places where we can actually drop. We can fall down by accident uh, from the top floor. And if we fall down by accident and get surrounded by those enemies, it's quite likely that we will die. So that's why we'll take those out first of all. Uh, and then this is where we get the options of going different ways. Sudama behind here. Just try another soul core, see what we get. See what uh, he gives us. That'll do. 
Uh, so we have the spiders that way. We'll just wait to, for the spiders first. Then we'll go, we'll go up these stairs just next to the shrine. Start working our way this way. There's a door there. We'll get that door later. Oh no. Ignore that. We use those stairs later. So uh, not the ones directly next to the shrine. The ones that are just a little bit further away over here. An enemy behind that bit there. So watch out for that. Not sure that he actually fully died. Just going to check so that he doesn't surprise us. Because uh, I don't want to... There we go. Yeah. I don't want to start fighting these enemies and then that guy pops up behind us because we'll probably die, so. Now we've got a Dark Realm up ahead. So you can use that to your advantage and try and sort of like lure the enemies this way a little bit. Uh, you might reset back into the Dark Realm, I'm not sure. No, that's fine. Works out all right. Uh, so a couple of spicy enemies in this section, so you've got to be careful here. Uh, especially this this giant one here. This guy can like wreck you pretty fast. Uh, so what we'll do is use this as an escape if we need to back up. We'll use this bridge as an escape. We'll try and apply a sloth talisman. I've been spotted by something. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go for Sloth. Makes him insanely slow. There you go, that takes care of one. And then we're going to kind of rinse and repeat that process. Get the Sloth ready. Up on Purification. I think there's a ranged enemy, so watch out for this ranged enemy, actually. Watch out for that gap in the floor. Uh, that's what I meant about the gaps in the floor, because there's a lot of a lot of stuff where you can fall down, and it causes... It's just a nightmare, so... Get Sloth on, first of all. I'm actually going to apply a second one, because this guy is a spicy meatball. Feathers. Feathers. Got lots of feathers for this guy. Uh, Kunai is really good as well. Here's that one. Uh, so just watch out. Those uh, attacks can hit pretty hard. Uh, so what we'll do is just explore this floor first of all. Get all the bits and bobs. Uh, we can ignore these stairs. Uh, well, there is a treasure chest here, so you can grab that treasure chest. At the bottom of these stairs, but we don't need to uh, worry about these just yet. Now I'm going to head on over the blue bridge. Might be an enemy there. Yep, we're good. We'll just explore this floor. We'll open these uh, doors. This helps open up this area. You can kick this down. It does some damage to a spider down there. Might kill it. I'm not sure. Not quite dead, but it's... A decent amount of damage and we need to basically pull two switches uh, a red switch and a blue switch so what we'll do if this is the blue one there we go that will turn that we need to pull the red one as well which is just here there we go uh, and now that we've pulled those we can drop down some uh, some holes and stuff that are down there. So we'll do that in a second. Just going to make sure we've got this treasure chest and this door. Before dropping down. So we'll get that door. Uh, get this treasure chest. There we go. And now... Uh, technically the way forward is that way, but we've got some bits and bobs 
to do first of all. So what we'll do is um, grab that. There is a Kadama. It's hidden in this corner. Grab that Kadama. Just smash these for some extra stuff. Uh, and then we need to drop down both of these areas here. There's uh, two two gaps that we can now fall down. So we'll do the uh, blue bridge one, uh, blue bridge first. Drop down, drop down. And in here we've got a Kadama against the wall, just there. And we have the hot spring. Make sure to get the hot spring if you're going for the hot spring achievement. There we go. Then we can head on out the door. And up here. This kind of brings us where the spiders were, I think. Oh no, it's not. It's where the, uh, the humans were. That's why we uh, took them out earlier. It's just a, a lot safer to uh, take them all out. Uh, and what we can do is there's another uh, fall down at one point. This is the red bridge above us, so we can fall down the red bridge as well. Now get that item. A couple of basement enemies have respawned because we rested at a shrine. We technically ignore him. Run up the ladders. Uh, so at this point we can start working on the spiders. There's quite a lot of them, so just be careful. Uh, Shuriken and Kunai are quite good against these. Um, I'm going to go for Sacred Arrow. In fact, maybe we can get that one first. Try and get the smaller ones first, ideally. And sacred this one. There you go. Yeah, so a lot of the time the arrows will just kind of obliterate these. Watch out for the spiders that uh, will jump down on your head and stuff like that. Uh, I think we're clear, potentially. What use is more bloodshed? Okay, so that's all that we got the um, we got both of the the drop downs uh, on these sort of like rounded sections. Now we got the red one and the and the blue one. Um, so head back to the. Shrine. I'll just check the Kadama. Did it get uh, all of them? Yeah, it was seven out of seven Kadama, so we, we got that. I forgot to look out for the uh, message for getting all Kadama, but there we go. Seven out of seven Kadama. Uh, make sure you got your Oracle Blessing on, your top one. 20% uh, Amrita acquired. Uh, if you need to get any stuff, any top ups on Sacred Water and stuff, then, you know, elixirs and stuff, then feel free to get that from there. Uh, other than that, we are just a uh, boss prep at this point then, so what we'll do is make sure we've got any items that we might be able to use. Spirit stones and stuff. Use all of those. That's all looking good. Uh, I think this boss is a standard sort of like yokai type boss, so it's just going to be similar kind of strats that we've been doing uh, pretty much this whole time. Got the shuriken. Uh, anything else we can grab for this? Uh, that should be fine. If we can level up sloth, that's when we've already got that max. That's good. I've got rejuvenation. Uh, that's good. So that'll, that'll do for now. Double check if I can ready any more sloth. I don't think I can. And there, so four is fine. Uh, so for this boss, similar kind of strats, similar kind of setup that we've been doing pretty much all the way through. We've got feathers in that short court. Uh, we've got kunai, shuriken, uh, purification talisman, magic talisman. Uh, we've now got sloth talisman, salt, sacred water, and uh, the fruit if we need to uh, use that for our magic. Um, yeah, let's go for it. So, I believe we go... Up these stairs next to the shrine, the one that I mentioned earlier. 
yeah, the one that's just directly next to the shrine, and then you've got a straight, um, sort of like run straight through. You've got an enemy up here, you can pop him in the head. Uh, I'm going to go for a rifle, ideally. One shot him. Make our life easier for the boss. And there might be another enemy, so just be careful. I oh, know we're good. Uh, so yeah, similar kind of thing as before. Just use all your, your buffs and stuff. Might even whip out an old scampus if we've got one uh, on the items here. Yeah, we'll just use everything. Sacred. Verification. Try and get in with a, a slow. This guy can be a bit spicy, so watch out. Usually starts off with like a jump. Uh, so we'll just go for the fire. Try and get his key all the way down. And just use the feathers. He's gone yokai form. So we'll counter that with yokai ourselves. Uh, hold down. Uh, heavy attack to get your weapon buffed up. That'll do. Uh, so yeah, basically we just tried to get his uh, his uh, his key down. So I just popped loads and loads of fire feathers over and over again until his key bar was looking uh, quite low. And then when that was uh, kind of like at his lowest, I just then switched over to the thunder. Or the lightning feathers and that just obliterated his health uh, when his key bar was gone uh, you could also use water feathers as well if, if you wanted to use those but i actually chose to use feathers instead of applying uh, purification first i just went straight in for the feathers there but um yeah that's the stage so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did remember to like subscribe and comment thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one